हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल बी शोइंग यू ए जावास्क्रिप्ट लाइब्रेरी व्हिच इज डाउनलोड डॉट जेएस विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस लाइब्रेरी यू कैन डाउनलोड टेक्स्ट फाइल्स इमेज फाइल्स इनसाइड योर ब्राउजर सो दिस इज अ शॉर्ट डेमो ऑफ व्हिच वी विल बी बिल्डिंग सो हियर इज अ इनपुट फील्ड हियर यू कैन जस्ट राइट एनीथिंग एंड इफ यू क्लिक ऑन द डाउनलोड फाइल बटन ए टेक्स्ट फाइल विल बी डाउनलोडेड इफ यू ओपन दैट टेक्स्ट फाइल दिस इज अ टेक्स्ट व्हिच इज रिटन इन इट i can add some more text let's suppose again if i click download file this file will be generated for me with the text written here so this is a simple text file so if you want to download a specific uh, html page which is hosted on your local server so i am running on this uh, on my local server so if i just copy paste this address here which is uh, index.html and let me just make some slight modifications inside the code so i will write the code step by step just to show you the demo so if i want to download this web page which is hosted on my web server i can just copy paste the address and click on the download file button now you will see that the whole web page is downloaded by the click of the button so if i open the web page you will see this is a web page this is a picture of the web page and lastly if uh, a image has been also there on my web server this is the image so if you want to download this image it is pretty simple let me just make some slight modifications so in this case we will make a simple ajax request so here i will replace the actual text which is received by the user text so here we just need to change the extension from gif to jpg so if i refresh now you will see that this is the image this is the address here localhost 5500/gotham.jpg so here we need to paste the address click on download file button and now you will see that this file will be downloaded dot jpg so if i open this file this image file this is the image file so in many cases you want to let the user download your image which is hosted on your server so in that situation this library will be useful so i am using this library which is download dot js so if you search on google this is a library it is all it is also available on npm js node package manager but i will go to the official website so here you can just read the documentation it is client side file downloading using javascript and html5 and this is a syntax click on this uh, uh, hyperlink and this is all the code which is required for download.js and now in order to get started let me delete all the code from here and let me also delete this file and start from scratch so first of all what you want to do here is that create inside your working directory a file let me just create download.js and here you saw all this code so control a and control c copy this code and paste it here so this is a library code this is a full library so now close this file now we just need to write the basic so we have included the cdn of both bootstrap and jquery it is required so let me just change the title uh, download.js file downloading and just after you include jquery you also need to include your library file which is uh, download.js so after you write it inside the html we will have a simple heading in the center position which is download.js demo after this we will have a simple form which will have a id of my form and after this we will use the form group class of bootstrap so inside this we will have a simple input field of type text so here we will give it a id of text 
it should be required so placeholder i will give as text it should be required and it will got a bootstrap class of form control so now in order to see the result open with live server so it will open this application on the live server so you can see that this is a file and also we will want a simple button so just after this you use another form group class inside this we will have btn btn block and btn danger so the label will be simply download file so if i refresh this is uh, sorry this needs to have some space now you can see that now our form is ready now we just need to write the javascript code so after you include your library we will get the reference of the form by the jquery selector this is my form so this is the name of the id and we will invoke the submit event handler so when the form is submitted first of all we will execute event dot prevent default and then we will get the text the user writes by the val function and then we will use the download method so if you go to the documentation here this is a documentation if you go to the home page in order to download a simple text file they have given you examples if i copy paste the first example if you want to download a simple text file so here this is a context contents here i will replace the dynamic value and then you can give the file name so this is a default file name you can just change it to let's suppose file.txt and then the mem type so the plain text slash plain is the mem type of text file so now if i and write anything here click on this uh, file has been downloaded this is file.txt and you will see all the contents which are there so if i write anything some text more if i again download you will see so this was the simplest of example now we move on to the next example which is to download a whole web page so in order to do that this is a example here which is given to us so we will make a simple ajax request so instead of downloading a text file we can use dollar dot ajax inside the url we will copy paste the url so here we can just remove the static text to a dynamic text which is text and then download dot bind so the mem time will change to text slash html and this is the name of the file let's suppose i change this to index.html that's it so if i refresh now now i just need to copy paste this address click on download file you will see index.html so so this is example of downloading the whole web page and now we will move on to the image part how to download the image so this is again a very simple example which is given again a xml request if i paste it now you can see that we are making a xml http request object and then we are opening a get method so here we need to provide the address so here i can again replace the static text with the dynamic text and the response type is changed to blob because image is a blob and when this object on load then this download function of the library will execute holding the response and here you can change the image name let's suppose image dot uh, extension will be jpg and the mem type will again change to jpeg and also we need to close the parentheses like this so now if i refresh it this is a image address which is hosted 
if I paste it here, click download, you will see that. Your image file which is hosted on your server is downloaded. So this is very important line that I have mentioned. Your image files which are hosted on your server will be downloaded. You cannot download any sort of image file online. Let's suppose you want to download any sort of image file which are hosted on other server. You cannot download that. So if I just let's suppose uh, again change this to this HTML path and here we need I provide a different address which are hosted on a remote server let's suppose I want to download google.com so in that case it will not download it because this google.com web page is not hosted on our server you will get a CORS error course error cross region remote sharing error you will get so in that case it will not work so this is only applicable on all the resources which are hosted on your server you cannot download the remote source uh, remote uh, resources which are hosted on remote server so this thing you need to kept in mind so thanks very much for watching this video if you like this video then please hit the like button subscribe the channel and i will be seeing you in the next video